Um, hello, everyone. I'm Anne-Marie Wolfel. I'm the CRM developer here at Ubinor. I've been working with Salesforce since our company's implementation about four years ago. Um, Ubinor, a little background about our company, operates in 30 countries. Um, our headquarters is in Helsinki, Finland, hence the name Ubinor. Uh, we employ over 3,000 people worldwide. Our North America division here manufactures and distributes PEX-A plastic tubing, which is used in radiant heating, cooling, plumbing, fire safety applications, and we install those applications both in the residential and the commercial markets. Upanor in North America here currently has 90 Salesforce users, and along with the standard sales applications in Salesforce, we have built six custom objects and have plans to develop three more custom objects this year. Uh, we decided early in our Salesforce implementation that we needed to designate our Oracle EBS product master as our product database of record. It also became really clear that using that item database within Salesforce was imperative not only to our quoting processes for our controls products, but in forecasting and now in campaigning product initiatives. We initially used Cast Iron to integrate our Oracle Customer Rewards Program and forecasting data into Salesforce. Um, early in our Cast Iron implementation, it became clear that while it was an extremely robust application, the IBM acquisition of Cast Iron made, I really don't know how to say this kind of tactfully, but um, it was the most uncustomer service um, experience that, that really we've, we've had in a long time. Um, adding new orchestrations into Cast Iron was very complicated. It was very difficult to get advice from the IBM Cast Iron folks. Um, it was difficult to solve server orchestration problems. Um, we had trouble really working through the application's kind of quirky setup processes. Um, we, we, when it came time to renew our service contracts and upgrade our appliances, um, I was really surprised to find that IBM kind of ignored us and passed us on through various service and sales departments. Um, unbelievably, probably as you hear this story and, and even to us to this day, um, months went by without either, either our appliance being upgraded or getting a quote for a new contract. So it became very clear that we needed to look for another application to take on our data synchronization needs. Um, I had heard nothing but raves about Informatica Cloud from our Twin City Salesforce user group, which is one of the largest user groups here in the country. Um, so with one quick search, I found Salesforce um, Informatica out on the App Exchange. Um, I had a trial version installed in our Salesforce development environment within an hour, and by the end of the day, and this is a true story, I had all of our cast iron orchestrations converted and running into Informatica Cloud synchronization tasks. And this included the setup of connections to Oracle, our SQL Server customer program database, and we also put together a configuration to take on our flat file information. The Informatica Cloud user interface was so intuitive and easy to use that I, I barely had to use their very helpful help files to complete not only our connections but to set up those tasks. Um, I kept waiting for error messages and I really kept waiting to have to do some Google searches out there to kind of figure it out and I really kept waiting for something to be really hard um, and it, it never happened. It, it was as easy as I could have ever imagined it being. It turns out um, also that there, there wasn't even a catch in the buying process. Um, our account executive, who I know is listening on this call today, and I'm, I'm glad he can hear this again from me, was very attentive and the quoting process was fair and quick. Uh, the conversion from our trial setup to the live version was absolutely painless. Informatica has a, an amazing onboarding process, and that onboarding process for us was very smooth. 
Um, during that onboarding process, I just happened to mention that I had a data cleansing issue that was really too complex for me, and that Informatica onboarding team sent me the solution to my issue within hours of me asking for help. In addition to our Oracle product file synchronization every night for quoting, we now use the feed for a new campaign initiative object, and we're looking to use that same feed for a sales forecasting object that we're custom building in Salesforce. We have also added three additional data synchronization tasks to move lead data from flat files into our Salesforce lead object. Um, I'm also currently working on implementing an XML, an XML feed of construction project data into that same object. Uh, word has gotten around at Upanor that data synchronization is really easy. And I've, we've been approached by, the IT department has been approached by our finance department to see if we couldn't use Informatica Cloud for some finance data needs. Uh, we've learned a lot, a lot of lessons in our four years with Salesforce. As a manufacturing company, and I know many of you are, are listeners out there are in manufacturing, you probably have been in the same position where keeping track of data was always second to producing product. Um, this resulted in spreadsheets and spreadsheets and spreadsheets of data. And most of those spreadsheets of data was data that was already available in our ERP system. Um, data quality was non-existent. Our sales teams were losing deals because they were using outdated kind of good old boy sales, sales approaches. Um, that first year of of our Salesforce implementation, we only had adoption at around 20%. What I've found has been so wonderful, particularly with using Informatica, is that Informatica supports their product and really has understood our needs from the very beginning. So using Informatica has allowed our data to be pushed uh, to and from all of our systems, creating a data quality situation that we never would have imagined a year ago. Um, our Salesforce adoption now, four years later, is now up over 80%. And best of all, um, answers are easy. And, and I say that kind of um, lightly because having salespeople armed with data and knowledge is really the what wins deals now. Um, you know, having lunch and a couple of cocktails is still really great, but to have somebody walk in and be able to say, wow, I see that you ordered this, or I see that you put in a technical service request on maybe one of our products, I mean, it just really has made a huge difference. And Informatica and Salesforce has really made that data kind of come alive and be available to those that need it. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for letting me tell our story today. Hey, Emery, that's a great overview. Um, I have a couple of questions, and I want to remind people uh, that they can ask questions uh, as well in the chat panels. Um, you, were, you were telling me yesterday about just how the mobile nature of your sales organization and, and, and almost how you took more of a carrot than a stick approach to get adoption up. Um, can you, I mean, it sounds pretty amazing what you're now doing with Salesforce, and, and can you just tell us more about how that works and how the impact on Salesforce and your business? Yeah, you know, absolutely. We, in, in the nature of our business is in the constru construction industry. And, you know, when we, you first put in Salesforce, you really have this kind of idea that your salespeople, you know, instead of watching television at night, just kind of put in data and learn from data in their Salesforce applications. And what we found out was that that was very untrue. Um, we needed to arm our salespeople with mobile applications um, four years ago, that was almost all mobile telephones. And now, four years later, not only are they using Salesforce um, mobily on their phones, but they're also, we've armed our salespeople and our field technicians with iPads right there out on the fields. Um, those iPads have allowed for not only that, that very easy um, segue into getting information about who they're talking to, but really understanding how those people interact with our company and how they interact using data from our ERP suite too, which salespeople you know, never before have been wanted to log on to an, an ERP suite. So you know, really using those data integrations brought our adoption up huge. 